In this tutorial, we'll be going over some of the ways in which you can warp and distort objects in Inkscape by using various path effects. So to get started, we'll have a look at the envelope deformation path effect. I have this text object on my screen here. I'm going to convert this from text to a path by selecting it and going to Path and selecting Object to Path. And now I'll open up my path effects menu by going to Path and selecting Path Effects. From the menu, I'm going to click this plus icon down here to add a new path effect. And the path effect I'm looking for is envelope deformation. So I'm going to select that. And let me zoom in on this so I can see it better. And if you notice in the menu over here, we have four different ways in which we can distort this object. Top, bottom, left, and right. So if I click this button right here, bend the top path, we're going to get this green line on the canvas. You can take that green line and move that up like that. So you end up with that effect right there. And you can click on each node and change these handles so that you get this warp effect, as you can see here. And I'll do the same thing down here with the bottom path. I'll change that as well. And if you want to change the right and left path, you could just click the buttons for those as well. You could bring this in, or you could bring it out like that. And I'll do the same thing over here for the left path like this. I'll bring this one in. And then we end up with that effect right there. And then we have these other options over here that we can enable as well. So if I toggle off the left and right paths, we end up with this effect right there. And since this is a path effect, this is temporary and can be undone at any time by just toggling off the visibility of the path effect right there, or you can remove it by pressing the minus button right there. So I'll turn that back on. If you want to finalize the effect, just go to path, object to path, and now you can grab your nodes tool and you can see that this is finalized and the path has been warped. So another way in which you can warp objects in Inkscape is by using the bend path effect, which allows you to bend an object along a linear path. So a good example for this here, I have this drawing of a lion. And let's say I wanted to add a tail to this line. I created this simple little tail using an intersecting area between two circles and a triangle, and I unified it all together. So I'm going to place the tail on the lion here. And to make this look curved so it looks more natural, I'm going to go to the path effects menu. And I'm going to add a new path effect. And the path effect I'm looking for this time is bend. So I'm actually going to type it up here so I could find it. Bend, there we go. And now if you click this button over here where it says bend path, you have this green line that you can edit. So I could take this and pull this down like that. And as you can see there, the path is being, or the object rather, is being bent along that green path. And you could adjust these handles. And you could take this handle over here if you need to make this wider like that. Just like that. And there we go. We have, now we have a bent path that looks more natural like a lion's tail. And the final path effect we'll be having a look at is the lattice deformation, which gives you multiple points in which you can warp an object. So if I select my subject here and I add a path effect, I'm going to look for lattice deformation. There we go. And once you have that applied, you can come over here to your Edit Paths by Nodes tool, and you can see we have this blue grid with nodes placed on it. And you could take these nodes and move them around like this to distort the object. So if I go like that, I can make the subject taller or shorter, and I can warp and distort it in various ways so that it doesn't look so, so much like the original object there like that. And if I select my selection tool and toggle this off, you can see the difference there. We were able to warp this object rather easily using that path effect. So that's just a few of the ways in which you can warp and distort objects in Inkscape. If you found this lesson useful, then consider checking out my Inkscape Masterclass. It's a collection of over 60 videos where I go over all of the tools and features in Inkscape, and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work. Kind of like how I did in this video. We even have a private community where you can ask questions and get help from me anytime you want. And best of all, there's no monthly membership fees. You just pay $17 one time and you're in for life. I'll have some information about that down below if you want to check that out. As always, thanks for watching.